It sounds like At you, times. you have no fear. You don't fear anybody. I don't have a death wish. Right. Yeah. I mean, everybody's going to die. It's just a question of when. So. How do we create something to keep us alive? I'm not longer? worried about dying. Can we create something to keep us alive longer or no? Have you looked into that? Longevity and stuff? Yeah. I don't know if we should have longevity because the people who, who will get the longevity capability um, first are Rich probably, people. probably people you wouldn't want to live that long. Rich people, right? How long would you want, you know, I don't know, some, some, there's, there's like, I think a lot of people in power who you wouldn't want them to have some super longevity situation because then they never sure. be out of power. You, know? you think that's going to be possible though with like modern medicine and just everything we're doing? Some amount of longevity, I think, is probably it's certainly possible. You say it's possible, sure. Um, You'd think that'd be a focus. I think, for I, some I, think I could probably solve solve longevity to some degree, um, but I don't want to. What if somebody? I guess it doesn't matter for you, no. but yeah. If someone approached you and said, "Hey, I need to live 150 years," you're saying no way. I think we'll definitely do that. Like oh, people will definitely be able, someone's going to do that. No, but I mean, if it takes you 10, 15 years to develop, at least living like 10, whatever. 10 extra years. Yeah. yeah. If the right person came to you. Yeah. The problem is like, you know, uh, when people get old, they don't change their minds. They just die. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have progress in society, you got to make sure that, you know, people, people need to die because they don't. They get old. They don't change their mind. Absolutely. So if if if, if all people just live for a long, super long time, I think society would get lazy, right? Very stale. You know, very ossified. It's um, pretty crazy. I mean, point, if you yeah. live forever, what the fuck? You don't care about tomorrow. Well, yeah, in a way. But also, yeah, old, older old, people yeah. are stuck in their ways, right? Like yeah. they've lived That's their whole problem. life. They're not like all people are stuck in their ways, and they don't change their mind. They just die. Yeah. Some no. people are just yeah. ready to die. Yeah, when yeah, I mean, good. I mean, yeah, a lot lived, of lived enough life. Ready. I think you sort of you're ready to die. Would Neuralink be able to save people's memories? Like, so could you technically download memories Neuralink and put be, it in another person? Yeah, sufficiently advanced Neuralink would be able to save be, save state. Um, now you wouldn't be exactly the same person, but you're also not exactly the same person when you wake up every morning. You're a little different from when you went to sleep. So, a sufficiently advanced Neuralink. Would would enable you to record and, and technically and, be like a clone in a different body, so to say. Yeah, sufficiently advanced Neuralink, you could say save game basically. You think they've save game? <laughs> you think they've cloned humans? I don't know. I'm not aware of any cloning of humans that has actually taken place. But if you say, is it possible to clone humans? Yeah, it's very possible, of, right? Of course, because they've admitted to cloning sheep, right? Well, you can uh, get your dog cloned right now. Yeah. Exactly. Like literally, it's a dog cloning service. Right. Where do you do that? So there's got to be clones on there's the planet. There's even advertising for it. Like if you if you search clone my you dog, can clone your like dog. The f <laughs> that's like that's like and your cat. That's, that's kind of like weird. common. I don't like know if that's like, not even rare. That's common to clone your dog. Shervin has a clone dog, doesn't he? What? <laughs> Shervin does. I I don't want to quote it, but we'll you got like have Shervin. ten clones, and they'd be like your dog times. Ten. Shervin has like the most like dope. Uh, <laughs> That'd be pretty weird. Whatever they're called. I don't know if I like that. Not pit bulls, but Staffordshire. I think they're cloned. Anyway, you, you can literally not, not only are they clone that they're, they're they're the top three links are going to be advertising for cloning your dog, dog wow. or, or cat. That okay. means there has to be there's a clone on the planet. Well, how much yeah. does that cost to clone a dog? Maybe, you know, maybe not in the US. Is it expensive? No. It's got to be expensive, like, right? I think it's like fifty grand. Fifty grand to clone a dog. That's not even that crazy, oh, man, man. I'm doing that. People can Why? afford that. Craig? There's people out there that can you afford do that. that to Craig? Yeah, I'm gonna get second Craig. <laughs> fifty you grand. Have like three Craigs. Yeah. Yeah. Renee, what do you think? <laughs> oh, shit. And they'll just run around. I mean, as long as you don't have to train them, it might be better. Yeah. I mean, if they're already trained to go outside, then shit, clone might be the option. Well, you can literally, I think there's a dog cloning service in, here in Austin. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. What is going on? That's crazy. That's crazy. And I think it's just, if you can clone a dog, you can clone a human. Yeah. yeah. Same level of difficulty. Wow, that's scary, cloning a human. Oh, I mean, shit. someone's tested it somewhere. I'd bet. I'd bet my whole bank account. I feel on like it. there's a lot of things that's happened. Though. Clone Bradley Martin. I mean, yeah. Is this, is this really you or what? It feels like me. <laughs> <laughs> like but one of the things I was thinking about for like Neuralink, that's kind of a, a, a real mind trip. Is like let's say Neuralink um, enables a full sort of recording of memories and like and and all of your feelings and everything. 
Um, feelings. Oh, that's too? the biggest everything. thing right there. You like everything. Does um, does the but our feelings like chemical? Yeah, but I guess all, it's no, your it's brain soul, remitting it, right? Like here's the crazy thing: everything you've ever felt, all your every it's all it's all electrical signals. Right. Whoa. It's all coming in. It's all neurons firing. So holy, that's shit. insane. So the the clones will have feelings, and you could record rec- record everything. Oh my god, that's uh, scary. That's when the AIs take over, though. Yeah, but I'm saying like so. That is like, like, insane. Yeah, you, that's you, you, you could actually even recreate like a video game that's like the most real video, like video game where every sense that you feel is you're, you're in the game. Like, so, so what so does that like mean? This, like this could be a Neuralink video game. But so does that mean if you die in the video game, you die in real life type thing? Not necessarily. But What's does your movie? mind convince you of that? Well, you could do anything. If, you can make if, the if brain you believe anything. You, like what well, you have to say, like, what what is death? Death mm-hmm. is the loss of information. Mm-hmm. So, like, if if you uh, let's let's say like 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 if if you got disintegrated, but but then got you know reintegrated immediately with no pain or anything, did you die? Well, not not really, because you you're still continuing. So, like, you know, or in a video game, you do die. You die a lot in the video games, um, but but you then you're st- come back to a safe game state yeah mm-hmm. and now so so you say like what is death what is what does death actually mean it's the loss of the information associated with that individual and if you no longer have loss of information associated with that individual death has no meaning i mean it, it could hurt i suppose 